Welcome to this review of the Nulixie KM18 Bluetooth FM transmitter. I just bought this on Amazon for like $24.99. I'm interested to see how it works. I have a friend with one of these. It's not a Nulixie, it's a different uh, transmitter. And it works, but it's pretty staticky. And the goal of this product review is to assess the quality of this transmitter. Is it staticky? Is it clear? And we'll also take a look at what is inside the box. Alright, they give us a 3.5 millimeter jack. I think it's a three foot cable adapter. And here is the transmitter itself. It plugs into the car charger. This is obviously adjustable, twisty, so you can move that around. And I think that's all it comes with. Those are the directions and instructions and a thank you card. I'm hoping the directions are good here. All right, well that's all it comes with. And now I'm going to take it in my car and see how it works. All right, so I just plugged the new Lixie in, turned my car on and it uh, powered on right away here. I'm tuned into 89.1 on FM. And as you can see here, I'm also tuned into 89.1. You can change the frequency that you're tuned into with these channel minus and channel plus buttons. You can see it has a pretty good band because as soon as I go out of the range, you can't hear it at all. And there's a volume knob on here. So you can control the volume with your new Lixie with your car, and you can also control the volume with your phone. So you have three volume controls, your phone, the new Lixie, and your car. Uh, listening to the quality of the sound, it's pretty good quality. Um, I've tried to turn the volumes up all the way on both on all three and it does get staticky um, but you can turn it up pretty high and as long as you are um, optimizing between your three volume control knobs you're not going to have that much static um, but basically yeah, you can reduce the static as much as you want with your three volume controls it does also have a 5 volt 2.1 amp port for you to connect and charge so you can charge and play wirelessly um, so that's it, and then there is also the 3.5 millimeter jack cable. I'm not going to test that, I'm just going to assume it works. I won't use it unless I need to, unless the FM breaks. So, one more comment before I end this review here. I have had a few friends with other um, car charger transmitters, and their experience was that it was pretty staticky through most radio stations. So I think this is pretty clear. Um, it might be dependent on the car you're using. This is a 2005 Forerunner and it works great. So you can keep that in mind as well. But that's going to be it for this product review. If you have questions, just go ahead and comment below. Thank you for watching.